Fellini has is so fascinating to me, and he really is um, certainly in my one of my three or four favorite directors. Um, and La Strada is either the first or the second favorite of my of the of my Fellini films. What uh, what I as I've been reflecting for the last few weeks about this film, it occurs to me that um, in in many ways it's the most richly and profoundly Catholic of Fellini's films. Um, I probably mentioned, I think I did uh, during the Wild Strawberries uh, discussion, the the wonderful opening scene of La Dolce Vita, where two fellows are in a helicopter transporting a giant crucifix across Rome. And then as they're at this great elevation, they see two beautiful Italian girls in bikinis sunning themselves on a rooftop. And the serious work of transporting this crucifix to Vatican City or wherever it is headed is put on pause as they <laughs> call out ciao bambina <laughs> and and have to flirt with the girls. And it's it's such a, a it's such a brilliantly realized just mise en scène of of what it must be to be a citizen of modern Italy, which is where mm. the whole place is steeped in the church. It, it practically is the church. And yet for those who live there, working for the church might be, or your, your contact with Catholicism are just more artifacts that are just circling around you and that and none of those things say anything about your soul. So you could be a helicopter pilot transporting this gigantic crucifix, but your your thoughts are, are on the ladies. Um, I would, so the, the Catholicism of La Dolce Vita is, is really about what's become of in Italy that's really self-consciously modern and is and entered into decadence, even as all around it are these reminders of a of a holier and a more sacred way of being in the world and a past that is right there. It's all around you like so many ruins, um, but it is kind of a ruin. In contrast, um, the the vision of this film and prop, what Pope Francis is probably referring to with its Franciscan vision is such a um, a beautiful encounter, a beautiful depiction of the way in which physical poverty and the brutality of it often reveals to us spiritual poverty and the need for grace. I have much more to say about that, but I think um, I think that's that's what draws me to the film is that is that it's not the Catholic furniture in the scene. It's not the Catholic materials. It's actually the formal structure and the vision of the film hmm. is so decisively uh, coming out of the church's vision of man yeah. and the human estate. Yeah.